Today, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make your editing workflow in Adobe Premiere Pro 100 times faster. I know it sounds crazy, guys, but it actually is 100 times faster. I've actually done the math. It's kind of crazy. Normally, you'd get your mouse, right, or a razor tool and cut this clip, right? But I'm gonna show you guys something with one hand pretty much tied behind my back. Um, so I'm going to play this clip and I'm going to get rid of a section that I do not want in this clip and you'll see just how efficient this is. So I'm going to start playing the clip now and um, oh, I need to click in. I'm going to start playing the clip. I don't want this part starting here and I want it to start here. <laughs> Painless, right? It makes use of the keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Premiere Pro. I have them key, binded, key bound to my mouse for just super fast editing um, because my mouse has buttons on it. If your mouse doesn't have buttons, don't worry. We can still follow through its tutorial and it'll be all nice and dandy. Uh, you can use any buttons on your keyboard to make this work for you. It's really awesome, really fast. I've been doing this for a very long time and I'm telling you right now, I could never go back to the old um, cut, um, V, put, delete, move over. There's no way, guys. This is the future. Keyboard shortcuts are a savior. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so I know that happened really fast, so I just want to kind of break it, break it down for you guys and tell you step by step how this process is achieved to do this super fast cutting, trimming, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm going to take it step by step, show you guys what keyboard shortcuts do what and how to kind of do them in sequence to achieve the effect that I showed you in the beginning of the video. So let's go ahead and hop over to Adobe Premiere Pro. And basically, uh, these are clips from my cruise to Mexico I did earlier this month. I have a vlog on that on my vlog channel, it's a shameless plug, I know. Um, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, cut using these clips. So. Basically, I'm going to kind of do it really slow to show you guys right quick. Um, so the first step is a cut. So I'm going to add a cut right there. And then I keep playing. I keep playing. And then I add another cut. I say, hey, I want to start again here because it's the middle that I'm taking out. It's the middle that I'm taking out. So just to further elaborate, I make my initial cut pressing the add edit button right there. And then I add my cut and I say, I don't want any of this following until I make another cut using the add edit. Um, and then I make another cut. Boom. Okay, I've got my two cuts. It's this clip that I want to get rid of and then mush these two ends together to uh, make my make my edit. And then I move on with the um, oops, sorry, that's not selected. Then I click a button to select my previous clip. That'll select the one that I want to delete. And then finally, I'll do a ripple delete to get rid of the selected clip and move everything over um, to fill the gap. So that's pretty much it in sequence to kind of reiterate. I do add edit. I don't want any of this. Add another edit, select previous, ripple delete, moved over. So that's kind of just the breakdown. I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to set up these uh, shortcut keys right quick. Uh, so what you want to do is go up here to, let me get rid of my face cam, uh, <laughs> uh, go up to the top right and click edit. And then you want to go down to keyboard shortcuts. And this will bring up the dialogue. If you've never been here, you can actually make uh, keyboard shortcuts for anything, absolutely anything that you want. It's kind of crazy. I don't think there's a function that's not in here. So pretty much anything you do in Premiere Pro, you can do it with all with your keyboard. If you're a keyboard warrior, I salute you. I am in that boat. Um, it just makes everything so much efficient. Mou mouse just, it's slowed by your accuracy if you're clicking. It's just too much. So the first thing that I showed you guys how to do was add edit. Um, I have it assigned to my, um, to my mouse, which is the five button on my mouse. Yet again, just find a series of well, I think three three keys on your keyboard that are close together that you can have with one hand. Um, if you have buttons on your mouse, like I have the, this is my mouse, this is the Razer Naga Hex. It's an amazing mouse uh, and it has uh, six buttons on it. I use these buttons on the daily and it has even two on the top that I don't use quite as daily, but they're still nice to have. If I wanted, I could get a macro program and just assign this series of three buttons 
in sequence to just one of the buttons, but maybe that'll be for another tutorial. Right now I'm going to use, I use the 5 button to add my cut, I use the 1 button to select previous, and the 2 button to do my ripple delete. So it's boom, 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 done. Uh, so if you're into an editing mouse, I guess you can get this. I think they have a better one, which is the Razer Naga Legendary, which has 12 buttons. So if you're going to do one, I would suggest doing that. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and add our first edit so you can just double click right over to the side. It's a little bit finicky, finicky just, um, just kind of right in the space next to it, just double click and then press the key that you want to bind it to. So if I want to bind it to T for some reason, I could, um, and I want to undo that because I don't want to remove my current T selection. Uh, so yeah, just add that right there. Our next one is the select. Oh. And that did not work out. Uh, select previous previous clip. Select previous clip. That is my one, as you guys saw from the picture of my mouse. Uh, so I click one right there, and that will select the previous clip. <clears throat> Again, just double click right here, and that will add a new um, new keyboard shortcut. You can add multiple, as you can see. Uh, it was originally Control Up. I don't get rid of it. I just add my whatever my new one to it. And finally, we have our ripple delete which is the two normally it's shift delete basically <clears throat> a ripple delete just deletes the clip that's selected but in addition to deleting it it gets rid of the gap it would have created um, once you once you delete it so normal delete leaves a gap ripple delete moves everything to the right over to fill the gap e even on other tracks which is really nice and you know add it doing the same good old uh, double click right outside all that's good. Make sure you save your changes by clicking OK, and we are ready to rock and roll. You'll be able to start doing this. Now, there's one thing missing. I did the start, um, I, I did the play behind my behind my head, and yes, you can use the spacebar, but I don't really like using the spacebar because it requires my other hand. I guess you could. I, I, I do use a spacebar, but I also like to have a button on my mouse dedicated to playing. Uh, and this is actually a really cool feature. It's separate from playing, but it's called shuttle. And what shuttle does is that you can either shuttle right or shuttle left. Shuttle right will do the same thing as playing, um, playing your video or your sequence for that matter. Um, although one difference is is that you if you keep pressing the shuttle right button it'll actually speed up the rate at which you're playing your sequence so as you can see right here i will start uh, shuttling right right now and then i'll keep doing it and it'll get faster and faster until i press space to stop it or i shuttle left to downstep to the point where i'm just playing normally and as you guys can probably tell shuttle left Shuttle left, I've also assigned to a mouse keyboard button, or a mouse button, that's <laughs> not a keyboard. Um, shuttle left basically does the same thing as shuttle right, except for in reverse. So I can play my clip in reverse, and I can do it faster and faster. Uh, you can tell it's a little bit CPU intensive when you go backwards, especially. Um, it does get rather jumpy, so you see smooth playback once I do shuttle left once, but as soon as I do double shuttle left, it does get a little bit laggy. So that's just something to keep in mind. These are very useful um, keyboard buttons and I use them on the daily. So what you can basically do then is just use your shuttle right button, add edit. I don't want anything up until right now. Select ripple delete done. And you'll get faster at this. It's kind of just a finger twister at the beginning, but you will get faster. That's pretty much that. Um, it is an amazing, it is an amazing, amazing, utility to be able to pull out these keyboard shortcuts and use them to your advantage. I can't underestimate how important that is. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Hopefully this tutorial helped you uh, so in some way, shape or form. I always like to give you guys tips on how to improve and innovate your YouTube workflow to better benefit you as a content creator. Um, so if you guys are digging that sort of stuff and you want to have more of this com um, content kind of baby fed to you on the weekly, uh, I make tutorials every um, Tuesday, so I don't see why not. If you want to get access to these tutorials a day earlier on Mondays, you can use the code right here or click right there to actually get a text message a whole day earlier and you'll be able to watch and comment and interact with these videos one day earlier than everyone else on the channel, which is super nice if you want to be a supporter and you want to take your YouTube game to the next level, or at least a day earlier than everyone else. Um, 
But uh, yeah, subscribe. I'm sure you guys all know what that does. Basically pushes these new videos to your YouTube subscription box so you don't miss them. Not quite as intense as this one where it'll actually text you with the, with the link to the newest video. But it's there if you're a YouTube junkie, like I know most of you guys are. And of course, you can view all my Premiere Pro tutorials by clicking the series playlist off to the right. That's pretty much my plug. Social media is right down there. I want to try to get to 5k, 5,000 Twitter followers by the end of this upcoming summer. It's a ways off, but I would love you guys' support as I move through that. I do motivational quotes every single day using the hashtag MQ, motivational quote, hashtag MQ day, and then I keep track of the days. So that is my plug. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I would love to see you guys back here again next Tuesday. And with that said, as always, take it easy and keep creating. Peace.